Hello all, welcome to the new video. In this video, we'll be seeing how to solve the circuit involving R, L, and C, and also the voltage source, and there will be a switch in these type of problems. The question here is the switch S, the switch S is at position 1 for a long time. For a long time. And is brought to position 2 at t equal to 0. So, what happens with the current I1 and I2 at just that instant, that is 0 plus? See here, like in this case, the switch is at s equal to 1 for a long time. So, there is nothing at this position. So the circuit at t equal to 0 minus 1 is typically in this way. That is neglecting this two. We have just a voltage source and a capacitor, inductor and resistor and capacitor. This is not present at t equal to 0 minus. That is on which it is at position 1. Ah, uh, looks like I am fast. Let me okay. Okay, so that is the question here. The switch is at position 1 for a long time and it's brought to position 2 at t is equal to 0. So let's see how to solve the circuits of this kind. This is the circuit representation when switch was at position 1. What uh, they have uh, told is the switch was at position 1 for a long time. Long time. So if the switch was at position 1 for a long time, it means that the circuit was in steady state. Circuit was in steady state. In order to solve the problems when the circuit is in steady state, you need to understand what is the behavior of capacitor and inductor when the circuit is in steady state. So at steady state means so, at steady state means at t equal to infinity infinite time what is the behavior of capacitor and inductor let's see see both capacitor and inductor have impedance associated with them we can represent the inductance, I mean sorry, impedance of capacitor as Zc, which is typically 1 over Sc. And the impedance of inductor is Sl. This is an ohm. Just as an OHM ohm. Okay. So let's see what is the behavior or impedance which will be of capacitor and inductor in t equal to infinity. As you can see, we know that frequency is inverse of time. So, at t equal to infinity, the frequency will be 0. And we have omega as 2 pi f. So, omega will also be 0. So, note that at t equal to infinity, omega is equal to 0. And one more interesting topic here is the complex term S is equal to sigma plus J omega. If we ignore sigma for now, I will tell you why in the next video. So for now, we will assume that sigma is equal to 0. That will leave us just J omega. So at t equal to infinity, we have omega is equal to 0. So, even S is equal to 0. So, that will bring us since impedance of the capacitor at t equal to infinity. That is, if the circuit is in steady state, the impedance of the circuit is 1 over 0. This is nothing but infinity. So, <coughs> the impedance of the capacitor will be infinity. That means, we will take all the voltage across it. So, if you have 
circuit in this fashion we can represent the capacitor as an open circuit why because the impedance is infinite see here if the impedance is infinite the current will be negligible right if we speak in theoretical way if it is infinity the current through capacitor is zero why because v is equal to y r i is equal to v by r r is nothing but impedance in this case i is equal to v by z c the current through capacitor in this will be zero so we represent capacitor as an open circuit okay so it's all messed up here so in the same fashion the impedance of the inductor will be s is zero here is zero so impedance is zero so if the impedance of any circuit element is zero we represent it as short circuit so we have represented the circuit accordingly at steady state uh, we'll see like uh, now we have represented it at the steady state now uh, using kvm we can solve for i1 of t and i2 of t at what instance at t equal to infinity see one thing you need to understand the switch is at position 1 for a long time and it is brought to position 2 at t is equal to 0 so at t equal to 0 the circuit is at position 2 so even at t is equal to 0 minus instance the circuit it was at position 1 so we will find the values of i1 of t and i2 of t at this instance like uh, why your uh, you may ask like why you are finding the current at this instance and why not at t equal to infinity let's see okay the aim of uh, this video is to find i1 of 0 plus and i2 at 0 plus so uh, here I have represented the two capacitors C1 and C2 that is voltages of the capacitor as VC1 at time instance 0 minus C. The voltage of the capacitor at T equal to infinity and at T equal to 0 minus remains same because the switch was at position 1 itself. So let's find what is VC1 of 0 minus and VC2 of 0 minus at 0 minus that is just before the switch was at here what was the voltage of these two elements inductor was the anyway short circuit so the current will be zero in the inductor that is uh, il of 0 minus is equal to zero so here we can see that this is an open circuit so all of the voltage of this DC source will be across this capacitor. So VC of VC1 of 0 minus is equal to V and VC2 of 0 minus is 0. This is in volts. Both of these are in volts. So if uh, you are not sure why VC2 of 0 minus 0, let me explain you. This voltage will be across this. Since no current flows this across this circuit, this is a current that will be zero, and this is nothing but a open circuit in itself. So there is no voltage here. This is zero volt because it is in this way plus minus with a minus. So PC two of zero minus is zero. Another interesting property of capacitor and inductor is. Is an important uh, concept. See, the energy stored in the uh, memory elements, capacitor and inductor, will not change instantly. That is, if a, a switch was at position one and we move it to position two, then the voltage of this capacitor will suddenly not change. So we can say that. VC of 0 minus 1, 0 minus is equal to VC of 0 plus. So, for inductor, we usually talk in terms of current. So, IL 
Om Siro Manas is equal to RL of 0 plus. This should have been in small case i. Anyway. Okay. Now this is very important concept. Please listen carefully. So now what we have done is we have calculated the voltage of the capacitor when it was in steady state. And we have said that the voltage and currents across these energy elements, capacitor and inductor, will not change instantaneously. So the voltage of capacitor at time 0 minus is same as voltage of capacitor at time 0 plus. But the switch at 0 minus was at position 1 and that switch at position time 0 plus is at position 2. That is in this way. So now we will see like uh, why we have drawn a voltage and why we have represented capacitor as an open circuit and inductor as a short circuit. I will explain you in detail. So this is very important to go ahead. So if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section. So I have told that the energy elements, memory elements, sorry not energy elements, the memory elements, capacitor and inductor, the values, the voltage and current don't change instantaneously. For capacitor we talk in terms of voltage and for inductors we talk in terms of current. So when the switch is brought to the position to this is the circuit. So what happens is the capacitor voltage will not change instantaneously as I said here. So even if we bring the switch at position 2 at t equal to 0, the impedance of the capacitor will change however the voltage across it will not change. So at t equal to 0 or say 0 plus that is just after the switch at position 2, the test value as let's see impedance is 1 over SC right t equal to 0 means s equal to infinity the impedance of the capacitor will become 0 that is capacitor acts as a short circuit however the voltage across it is same as what it was at the voltage across the capacitor at time 0 plus is same as what it was at 0 minus so at when the switch was at position 1, we had VC of 0 minus is equal to V. So, same voltage will be present in the capacitor at this instance. So, we have represented the capacitor, that is, this capacitor we have represented in this manner. This is voltage V and a short circuit. And similar to inductor, the Oops, the del is equal to SL. Okay. Since time equal to 0, T equal to 0, S is equal to infinity. So the del is equal to infinity. And the, if the impedance is infinity, we represent the circuit element as open circuit. So this is the circuit at T equal to 0. And the current remains same. I1 of T and this is I2 of T. As you can see, since this is open circuit, I1 of T is equal to I2 of T. Just a KVL equation is enough to solve this circuit now. Okay. So, this is the circuit at time instance T is equal to 0 plus. That is, soon after the switch has been moved from position 1 to position 2, what the circuit looks like. Okay. There, before at in the steady state the capacitor impedance was like infinite it acted like an open circuit now the capacitor impedance is like very less and it is zero so we have represented by short circuit for example let c is equal to in our SEC. now at t equal to zero means only i equal to infinity so s is nothing but j omega so that C is 0. This is short circuit. We are represented by short circuit. However, the voltage of the capacitor doesn't change instantaneously. So, we need to represent the capacitor in this fashion. That is, the impedance 
will be short circuit but the voltage remains same same as in steady state right at t equal to 0 plus and in the same way the inductor we represented as a short circuit at the steady state at t equal to 0 plus that is an open circuit now it is a in the same way we can now show that the value is a real s what is s here at t equal to 0 plus s is may I equal to infinity so s is equal to infinity so we will get the del as infinite so inductor be represented as an open circuit so this is i to t you know that so here in the circuit i1 of t is equal to i2 of t is equal to i1 of 0 plus equal to i2 of 0 plus why because t is equal to 0 plus so simple KBL equation is enough to solve this current now let's see so let's take just i1 of t and solve the equation Ignore this. This is a common current. We call it as I1 of 0 plus. So current travels in this way. This plus minus plus minus. We go in this fashion. Minus V minus I1 of 0 plus into R minus I1 of 0 plus into R is equal to 0. That is minus 2 times I1 of 0 plus R equal to v i1 of 0 plus equal to oops, this is minus v by ur so and uh, same i2 of 0 plus is also the same current since this is the open circuit we are just calculating the same current here so the final solution is I1 of 0 plus is equal to I2 of 0 plus equal to minus V by 2R. Okay, so this is the approach we usually follow when the circuit involves circuit elements R, L, and C, and also voltage source with switch. Obviously, thanks for watching. We'll explain, we'll solve few more examples in the next video. Thank you. Please subscribe our channel, by the way.